All right, Juliana, walk us through the tail of the tape. The numbers that jump out at me is Joseph Henley has a lot more experience than Joe Vidal is. He's one year older, and uh, he is two inches taller, so maybe his uh, reach with his hands will be able to uh, help him in this fight because Joe is, uh, is a big kid. In the black trunks, and of course, uh, Vidalis, uh, you'll see his hair in the ponytail. These two come in great fighting shape, and I just, again, you got that feeling, Juliana, that if you blink, you're going to miss something. Yeah, absolutely. I know that Joe uh, Vidalis has uh, real big, heavy hands, um, but I also know that Joseph Henley is a big time vet, and uh, that he is going in there with the means to go have some fun. That's what he wants to do. He wants to have fun. He loves to fight MMA and he does it for fun. Yeah, he was very engaging during the fighter meetings where Vidalis, again, a little more subdued approach, but also has that boxing background, 2009, NorCali uh, Golden Gloves champ, heavyweight. Definitely, both two, of these guys have yeah, outstanding big, big guys, just really big. Huge. Actually, uh, Joseph Henley was a 270 pound, 270 pounds at one point and got into MMA to lose weight because he just didn't want to lift weights and uh, he wanted something fun to do. So he used to be a big, huge linebacker. And he finally got a full training camp in too because he was dealing with some delays, some issues, some injuries as well. Exactly. Joseph Vidalis is trying to lock in a guillotine, but he definitely doesn't have it. And uh, Joseph Henley on top in the black shorts could I potentially choke him with a phantom choke. Wow. <laughs> Just like I said, phantom choke. Wow. Well, we knew the fight was going to end with fireworks. And, and Mr. Engaging himself took up half our fighter meetings the other day talking with us. He could have went nonstop, and he made this one quickly. Oh, yes. Joseph uh, sat there talking about his profession that he does on the side, which I still am not clearly understanding. But he's proud of what he does. He's great at what he does. He volunteers as a boxing instructor on his spare time. And uh, he just loves to fight because it's so fun to him. And I love to see that. I love to see guys that are really great going in there and doing what they love. He's just one of those guys you would He's you'd want to cheer kick. for. You'd want to cheer for. Nice you'd big for. leg kick. He's going to go in for a single leg. Flares him with the takedown. And notice how he uses that left shoulder pressure that is actually a reverse choke. So Joseph on bottom is looking like he's got a guillotine, and Joseph Henley on top has got his own phantom choke right there. Or um, that's what it's called. It's called a phantom choke. It's a ghost choke. It's also called the Von Flu choke. Um, and you saw the pressure, too. Absolutely. When somebody has a guillotine on you, that is the exact reversal to get them to choke. And uh, he can actually put them to sleep there. That's why it's called the phantom choke, because you don't see it coming. And then you're sleeping. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the official time of 1 minute 15 seconds in the very first round. Tenemos el tiempo oficial de 1 minuto 15 segundos en el primer asalto. Declarando el ganador por la vía de la submisión. Declaring your winner by the way of submission due to the Von Flu choke. From Lompoc, California, Joseph Hell!